Welcome back students. This video demonstrates the volumetric analysis of phosphate from fertilizer. The links for the other experiment is provided at the end of this video and also in the description box. In this video, TYBAC students of Abba Sahib Garwari College demonstrated the experiment. Please like, share and subscribe the channel to get the notification of next video. I am Dr. Sujata Kasbe from Abba Sahib Garwari College, Pune. Let us begin with the aim of the experiment. Aim of the experiment. Determination of amount of phosphate from fertilizer sample by volumetric method. Theory. When solution of phosphate is treated with excess ammonium molybdate solution in presence of nitric acid, formation of yellow precipitate of ammonium molybdate phosphate takes place. Precipitate is filtered through Wattman 41 filter paper and then washed with distilled water. It is dissolved in excess NaOH which reacts with this precipitate to form soluble Na2MOO4, Na2HPO4, H2O and NH3. The solution is boiled to remove excess NH3. Unreacted NaOH is back titrated with HCl by using phenolphthalein indicator from which amount of phosphate is calculated. Apparatus, burette stand, burette, volumetric flask, conical flask, funnel, beaker, etc. What are the chemicals required for the determination of amount of phosphate from fertilizer sample by volumetric method? One normal NaOH, DNP fertilizer, one normal HCl, ammonium nitrate, ammonium molybdate, concentrated HMO3, distilled water. Weigh about 0.5 gram of DAP fertilizer. Transfer the sample in a 100 ml beaker and then Wash the watch glass with little amount of distilled water. Then add to this solution 50 ml distilled water and then 2 ml concentrated HNO3 and stir it well. If clear solution is not obtained, then filter this solution through ordinary filter paper and then wash it with 10 ml distilled water. Here we obtain the clear solution. Heat the solution to 40 degree centigrade till the fumes come out. Remove the beaker and then to this solution add 3 ml concentrated HLO3 and then add 3% ammonium molybdate solution with constant stirring till phosphate is completely precipitated as ammonium molybdophosphate. To ensure complete precipitation, add 5 ml excess 3% ammonium molybdate solution. Digest the precipitate in a hot water bath for about 25 to 30 minutes. After 25 to 30 minutes, remove the burner and then take out the beaker from water bath. Then filter this solution through Wattman number 41 filter paper by decantation method. Then transfer the precipitate completely and then give 4 to 5 times washings by 1% ammonium nitrate.
Taste the blue litmus paper with the filtrate. It should not turn red. Now dissolve the precipitate of ammonium molybdophosphate by dropwise addition of one normal NaOH on filter paper by using a burette. Add 2 ml excess of one normal NaOH. Note down the total amount of NaOH required for the dissolution of precipitate. Wash the filter paper with 20 ml hot distilled water. Boil the filtrate till complete evolution of NH3 takes place. Taste it with turmeric paper. It should remain unaffected. Cool the solution to room temperature and dilute to exactly 100 ml in a volumetric flask by using distilled water. Wash the conical flask and then make up the volume up to 100 ml by using distilled water. This is stock solution of sample. Transfer the stock solution into a clean and dry beaker so as to get homogeneous solution. Then rinse the burette number 1 and fill it with this diluted solution up to 25 ml mark. Then take 10 ml of diluted solution from burette number 1. To this solution add 2 to 3 drops of phenolphthalein indicator. the pink color to the solution. Now titrate this solution with 0.1 normal HCl. Till the color disappears. So this is the final reading of this titration. This is the amount of one normal NaOH required for complete dissolution of precipitate. Now dilute this with the distilled water in a 100 ml volumetric glass up to the mark. Transfer this solution into a beaker to get homogeneous solution. Then fill this solution in burette number 1. We have two burettes. In burette number 1, we have diluted solution of one normal NaOH and in burette number 2, we have 0.1 normal HCl solution.
then take diluted solution of one normal NaOH take 10 ml to this diluted solution add 2 to 3 drops of phenolphthalein indicator pink color will develop to the solution and titrate this solution with 0.1 normal HCl solution till pink color disappear so this is the end point of this solution in a similar way repeat the titration for 2 to 3 times fourth step is standardization of NaOH for that fill the burette number 1 with diluted solution of NaOH then fill the burette number 2 with 0.1 normal KHP solution then take 10 ml diluted solution of NaOH in a clean and dry conical flask to this solution add 2 to 3 drops of phenolphthalein indicator pink color will appear to this solution titrate this solution with 0.1 normal KHP stir constantly while doing the addition continue the titration till the solution become colorless and this is the end point of this titration record this reading as ZML observations and observation table for back titration burette 1 contain sample solution burette 2 contain 0.1 normal HCl solution indicator is phenolphthalein end point is pink to colorless and record the reading as YML observation sign observation table for blank titration burette 1 contain 10 ml diluted solution of NaOH burette 2 contain 0.1 normal HCl solution indicator is phenolphthalein and end point is pink to colorless record the reading as XML observation and observation table for standardization of NaOH burette 1 contain diluted solution of NaOH burette 2 contain 0.1 normal KHP solution Indicator is phenolphthalein and end point is pink to colorless. Record the reading as ZML. Calculations for standardization of NaOH. NaOH against KHV. N1V1 equal to N2V2. So N1 equal to N2V2 upon V1 is equal to 0.1 into Z divided by V1. Calculations to find out the amount of phosphate. 1000 ml 1 normal NaOH corresponds to 3.66 gram of phosphate therefore x minus y ml n1 NaOH corresponds to 3.66 into x minus y into n1 divided by 1 into 1000 that will give you a gram of phosphate now 10 ml diluted solution corresponds to a gram of phosphate therefore 100 ml diluted solution contains 10 into a is equal to b gram of phosphate W gram of fertilizer corresponds to B gram of phosphate. So, 100 gram of fertilizer corresponds to B into 100 divided by W is equal to percentage of phosphate. Record the result table as exact normality of NaOH, N1 and percentage of phosphate. So, students, thank you for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe the video to get the notification of next video.